Well, hey guys, the other day I did something really stupid. It involved using this and it involved using this. Check out the story, guys. I hope want to share just for safety uh, for others. Well, hey guys, Jeff here. Thanks for tuning back in. I want to share something with you, uh, tell you a story of what happened to me the other day. Um, nothing got broke, thank God, and nobody got hurt. But I did something pretty stupid, and for the life of me, it was just a brain fart. Um, the day that I was working, I wasn't in a big hurry. Uh, I wasn't like I was trying to outrun rain or anything or bad weather. I was just enjoying the afternoon, and I just don't know how in the world it was just a total oversight. Uh, but anyway, I was working on wanting to get this uh, burn pile uh, worked up and I was moving some debris. And as you guys know, this grapple is something I go to all the time. It's very easy to hook up. <clears throat> and uh, so when I took the bucket off and I went to hook this up, I left the pins out. I did not hook up the locking pins. I hooked up the hydraulic lines, but I did not hit, put the locking pins. I don't know how I forgot that. Um, anyway, obviously the grapple will stay hooked on. Uh, I even had a load on it, uh, even had a pretty good load on it. When I came back over to here, and guys, I'll kick in the B-roll right here and show you what happened. Uh, as I uh, was bringing the load over and when I dumped it, I lost the whole grapple off my tractor. Uh, and of course, it was still connected by the hydraulic lines. Fortunately enough, I was low enough to the ground and as I saw it falling, I just went down with the bucket as you can see on the B-roll and <clears throat> I did not lose my hydraulic lines. Uh, and I was able to get up, get everything disconnected. Uh, I did lose quite a bit of hydraulic fluid, uh, but uh, no big deal that, that's easily replaceable. Uh, and I was able to get things pulled apart and get it reconnected and get everything locked back in and replenish my fluids and go right back to working. But, you know, that could have easily been a different scenario if somebody had been around me working, if I had been up real high and turning it loose. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, I've got hundreds and hundreds of hours on tractors. I don't claim to be an expert or anything, but uh, I've just got a lot of time on these and uh, I try to not make stupid mistakes like that, but you know, we're all human um, and sometimes we do. But I just wanted to let you know, even uh, with all of us working hard, the best of intentions, um, sometimes you mess up. And I just wanted to bring this video to you guys as an encouragement to Always keep safety in mind uh, when you're changing up your implements. Take a second quick look. Make sure you got everything hooked in correctly and everything locked down the way it's supposed to. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share the story, guys. A um, little embarrassing, but, you know, I'm human. Uh, we all make mistakes. But, again, I'm more concerned about sharing the safety of, man, look how fast this happened. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Just a quick safety thing and tell you what happened to me. And uh, hopefully this video will keep things like that from happening to anybody else. Uh, maybe it can avoid an accident. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. See you soon.